Welcome back to SMKR. This is Steve. Up next is a short review of different options for scribing panel lines. And as you can see, there I have quite a mixture of different scribing tools. Uh, anywhere from the Tamiya one to the UMM USA to just the, the standard Exacto blade. And uh, we'll look over these tools and give you a closer look at what they are. Now there's a couple tools that I have I can't identify. So if you're able to identify this tool for me, just put a comment down below in the comments for me. Let me know who makes that tool. Because, uh, you know, I, frankly, there's a couple really nice tools here, but I don't know who made them. So here we go. I'll be right back. First are a couple of tools from uh, UMM USA. Uh, one is actually a very thin razor saw, but it can be used for scribing panel lines. You can simply run this over the leading edge of a wing and scri scribe your panel line right over the top of that wing without any issues. And you pr pretty much can do it free-handedly to bring that uh, scribed panel line back into the leading edge of your airplanes uh, with you know the ones that you've sanded off. Now the other one, which is readily available out there, from UMI is SCR01 scribing tool and it has uh, uh, an edge that allow you to pull the scribe line or push it and same thing you also have a razor sharp side on this edge where you can actually drag it over the top of your fuselage panel lines over the bottom and so forth so these are very common this is a very common tool out there and a little pricey though from UMM USA. Next is the Tamiya Scriber and uh, it's a very handy tool. Really you have extra spare blades that are contained within the, the compartment here and the blade does remain protected when you're not using it. Simply push it out, tighten down the set screw and there you have it. You have a nice razor sharp blade to once again you can pull or you can push to engage and uh, make your new panel lines. Next is the Exacto blade and specifically the number 11 blade. Um, this is a very good tool to use which most people have this blade on hand and typically you'd engage or make your panel line with the back side of the blade here. Okay, just the very back edge and you drag it across to engage and make a new panel line. So that's typically what you have there. I actually have a very old testers exacto blade. It's been used a lot, but look at the look at the sharpness of that blade at the very end of it. So it's done very well for me. The other way to make panel lines is uh, just using a simple needle. And this, this needle setup comes from uh, sculpting clay. And you can use the needle itself to uh, scribe lines or even poke within the plastic to make simulate rivet, rivet detail. So this is very handy to use for that. Next is a, a dental tool. You can use a dental tool. It has a very sharp edge on the end of it, like this one, for instance. And you can find these pretty much anywhere, Micromark or, or even on eBay. But it has a very sharp edge. This one only allows you to pull the panel line. Now, enough, this is a, one of the tools I was talking about. I, it doesn't have any markings on it, so I'm not able to identify it but uh, it's a very nice tool used for scribing. I use it quite frequently. But you can see this one has a very fine point on it. A uh, very fine pointy needle made out of metal. So uh, very nice tool used for scribing too. And lastly in my arsenal of scribing tools is this one. This is another one that does not have any markings on it. Uh, it is a nice 
tool, very sharp serrated edges there. You can see not, not serrated, but very sharp edges. This one's great for scribing and for cleaning off uh, seam lines, plastic seam lines off your kits. Um, obviously you can, there's different types of chucks you can put on this. It unscrews and comes out. But, uh, you know, I don't have any markings on this, so if anybody knows who makes this particular tool, please uh, comment down below and let me know. One of the items that I would suggest you have when you're scribing new panel lines to, to keep you within the edges that you want is this embossing tape. It's a uh, Rotex embossing tape. It's the plastic tape with uh, the backing. You peel off on the back and then you apply it to your model. So for example, if I had my model kit here and I sand it off the edges here and I actually lost all my panel line detail, I could go ahead and take the plastic off where I want a panel line, lay it down there, and then that's my edge I can use to scribe the panel line. Okay, so here's the bottom fuselage and I want to scrap, rescribe this panel line right here and uh, what you do, like I said, you just take your your tape, your embossing tape, and lay it down where you want to rescribe that line, and it'll help keep you in line with your tool. So we'll go ahead and do that. Clear the backing out. Simply take and lay it down where you want to put your new panel line and then you can take your tool and just drag it across and it will help keep it and keep it straight. And simply remove the tape and there you have it. A new panel line. So that was just an example of the few scribing tool options that are out there for you. Um, look around and see who has what to offer. Most of your major model companies do produce their own scribing tool like Tamiya, Trumpeter, and Testers and so forth. Uh, I do highly recommend the UMM UMM USA tool, which is this one here in the middle, along with uh, you know anything of your choice, even a simple needle will do the job for you if you want. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and now go build something. Take care.